Hi, it's Kylie from Paint and Wing. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to paint a goldfish with watercolors. For this painting, I'm going to be using four different colors. Lemon yellow, cadmium red, burnt sienna, and Payne's gray. I'm going to start off by applying a light layer of water onto the goldfish. I will then mix a little bit of cadmium red to my lemon yellow paint. After it creates a slightly orange yellow paint, I'm going to add it to the goldfish. I'm just going to lightly dab the color in and then blend it out. Next I'll be adding some orange paint I mixed. You'll notice I'm creating a slight gradient. As I paint you'll notice I leave lighter parts on the center of the fish and darker on the edge. This is to help give it some value and so it looks like it's a round shape. Here I'm sprinkling some table salt onto the paint while it's still wet, and then I'm going to allow it to dry. Here I'm using a wet brush to blend out the paint. For this area, I'm using a wet on dry technique in order to stay in control. After I fill in the head of orange paint, I'm going to be moving on to the fins. The fins will be created using just a few quick brush strokes. In order for the fin to blend into the rest of the body, you can apply a light layer of water. For this process, I am using a number 10 round brush, but use a brush that is about the size of fins you want. I recommend testing out different brushes before you start this process. The different sizes and shapes of brushes will affect how the fins turn out. For this back fin, I'm using a wet and wet technique. Here I'm using a smaller brush to add details. After the layer of paint is dry, I'm going to go back in and create crisp, sharp details using a small round brush. Now I'll be filling in the eye using gray paint. Again, I'm using a small brush. I'm also making sure that the paint isn't too wet so it's easier to control.
Now I'll be painting on a few scales. Now we just need to finish off the tail fins. Again, I'll be using a round brush. I'm making sure to use one with more of a rounded end versus a pointed end. Here I filled in the tail shape because I wasn't quite happy with it. A sprinkle of salt and then I'll let this dry. A few final details and then this fish is complete. Thank you so much for joining me as I paint this goldfish. I will have a drawing template available of this goldfish on Patreon for those who are subscribed. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please let me know in the comments. 